Let's bring in uh, former Congressman Bob McEwen. He comes from us from Pennsylvania. He is a former member of the House Intel Committee. That's Adam Schiff's committee, all right, who's driving this impeachment situation. How do you see this, Congressman? Well, Bill, I thoroughly understand your concern because you cannot believe that they're proceeding under these conditions with absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. This uh, uh, lieutenant colonel says that he felt that that uh, the president was giving was bringing pressure. And so uh, the truth is that in the conversation in which he said, as any businessman would, and as you, you mentioned in your, your book, Understanding Mr. Trump, the United States of of Trump, that is that nobody's going to sign an in invoice unless you want to see what you got. If you, if I'm signing to pay for bricks, I want to know where the bricks are. And what he said was, before we send $391 million to somebody, I want to know who's getting it. And there was a lot of turmoil there. I was in Ukraine at the time. And then he spoke with the president and said, look, we want to make sure that it's done. And there, all of these charges, that somehow or another, Ukraine was involved in the 2016 election before I was president. I would like for you to work with the Justice Department to look into that. Now, any patriotic American, in my judgment, would have done exactly the same two things. And I'm glad you mentioned the United States of Trump because I lay out exactly why the president wants to know this, and we'll get that in a minute. But I didn't know you were in Ukraine when uh, I... all of that went down. So you now, do you feel that the country of Ukraine had any participation, either good or bad, in the 2016 election here? Well, there are many people that have said that. And what, what gives me a reason to want to, to look into it is that once the focus came off of Russia, and as you know, on the morning talk shows, they yelled Russia every 10 seconds, Russia, Russia, for two and a half years, until finally uh, they brought forth a mouse, and there was nothing there and the Mueller report that they were counting on Mr. Weissman to, to indict the president and then they were going to run with it. And there was nothing there. And so then when he's in this conversation with the president of, of Ukraine and he mentions uh, about CrowdStrike and he says, what is that about? I'd like you to look into it. That's when it seems that the CIA operatives and those in the White House that were detailed to, to, to watch over Mr. Trump, that's when they ran to the Intelligence Committee and said, we have to do something. And they've come up with this pathetic, pathetic charge. Have that you ever might seen? Have... How long were you in the House? I worked for my predecessor, and then I was uh, six terms in the House myself. Okay, so you've been there 15 years or whatever. Have you ever seen anything this chaotic? No, no, and, and this, it's an embarrassment. It's, it, it's, I don't know what terms to use other than pathetic. Uh, what, what they're accusing him of is looking into uh, possible corruption before he was president. And, 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 and that really does... No, 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 but he, he, they're, they're hinging it on the, uh, you don't get the money, uh, president of Ukraine, unless you investigate Joe Biden or whatever. But the president believes that Joe Biden may have had something to do with the corruption of the 2016 election. See, that's what he believes. Now, I, I went on Hannity's radio program today, and, and Hannity is like crazed about this, if you listen to his radio program. Um, and he knows everything about it. He's been, you know, like, and I said, look, let me just cut through this based upon the United States of Trump, which Hannity has read and you've read. The reason President Trump got involved with Ukraine in the first place and asked about Joe Biden is that Mr. Trump firmly believes in his heart that Barack Obama is behind the undermining of his campaign and his presidency. That's what Donald Trump believes. Now, that may not be true, but that's what the man believes. And he is obsessed, as I write in the United States of Trump, with getting information about his belief. And that's what this is all about, cutting through all the BS. What do you have to say? Well, if there was a, it, certainly he has reason to want to investigate that. And it's before he was president, so there wasn't anything that he could have done improperly. So the only question would have been, did he hold up the, the money? And as we know that he didn't, uh, they, they got the money and they haven't done the investigation. So yeah, the they got the money a few weeks after case. the call. Um, and there wasn't any investigation formally launched. I mean, I'm sure there was an understanding. Um, when you, you know Adam Schiff, right? 
I do to a degree. All right. I mean, he's We're being portrayed as conservatives and Republicans as just being the worst guy who ever walked the earth. Is he that? Well, bad? anybody that can stand up and lie and say, I have information. I have ample evidence and it's in plain sight that I have as, as head of the intelligence committee, I have information as to how this, how the president got colluded with the Russians. He said it over and over and over for a year and a half and he has nothing. So right. why Burbank? That, that was such a um, beyond me. a huge mistake. When you were on the intelligence committee, did you ever have any problem with Schiff? No, he wasn't on there. We, it's a short term uh, position because it's uh, the nation's most valuable secrets. And it's usually the people that are the most respected. And uh, it, no, it, he it's, wasn't uh, there when you were there. OK, no, I'm going no. I'm, I'm tomorrow. I'm going trick or treating as Congressman Schiff because I really want to scare the neighborhood. And that, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Final question for you, Congressman. We really appreciate your time um, tonight. When you have a country as divided, and Ohio is, is a perfect example of that, as divided as the USA is now, rational thought and objective truth kind of flies out the window, does it not? Well, this is really the, the, the low mark in our nation's history. I believe this will be in, uh, re recognized as, as an evil action by... Uh, in order to have self-government, you have to have self-discipline. And Americans voluntarily, after John Adams, walked out of the White House and turned over power. It's just what we've always done. These folks had determined they were going to take him out from the moment that he got elected. And they tried to work on to, to dissuade the Electoral College from voting for him. And they've tried every trick since. But this is so pathetic that it will go down. It, they will wear this, by the way. Uh, they, the, those Democrats running for re-election next year will be the do-nothing Democrat impeachment Congress. Well, and it's going to be even American worse than people. that. If the Justice Department comes out and shows there was criminal uh, undermining of the Trump campaign and the Trump presidency and people are arrested and indicted, Trump will win. Trump will win. Yes, and, 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 uh, and I hope the Congress will probably win. Probably in the spring. Congressman, uh, again, can't thank you enough for helping us out today. We really appreciate it. 